Hello guys, how are you doing? It's been raining all morning and chucking it down but now it seems like the rain has stopped a while ago and Oh I love my bracelet Oh, all the colours Looks better with the black and the itch um, Even though it's a big bracelet, it's almost like wearing a watch Which I never wear because I use my phone to look at a clock we have got uh, the split ply here, it's for Louis, he asked if he could see it. It hasn't been put in the mold yet, but this is the actual ply. Uh, which I've done for him, I hope you like it. Um, don't forget guys, this what you see here is going to be inside the deck. And the colours on the other side is a lot more intense, so it's going to be a lot brighter colours. Um, on this side here, underneath the tape. No plans today besides editing the vlog from yesterday. I'm going to do that right now. You can see that. First, I'm going to go down and make myself a cup of tea. And maybe I'm going to do some more split plying. Because it's a very, very relaxing thing to sit and do. Um, I also need to put some of my laundry away. Yay. Because Paul has been so kind and washing it for me. Right, so I've been looming again. You guys remember I did the little tiny bracelet which looks like this. Just to get it off. Wow. I did this one here. It was just my very first ones. Very simple to do, very easy. That's like really, really so easy. It doesn't need any explanation. It's just looping around. Um, then I did this one, which is one of the more advanced one. Uh, it's a very, very thick one. You saw that as well. Uh, well, it's a bit curly at the bottom now. Uh, I found out the way you can stretch them out again, if, if they are a little bit, you just put your finger and you just go around in the bottom and it'll uh, actually correct itself so it's just nicely again, like that and then put that down so that's that's the um, I think this is called the sailor's pinstripe this one here and then this one here I call this like a triple uh, I can't remember but look this is a new one I made um, it's the actual looming or the uh, braiding of the uh, bands is simple but the problem is to make this this length which fits my arm quite well um, you have to use the double length of that, so you actually have to have double loom, but um, I figured out how to make um, the transfer from one end to another. It's like kind of tricky, but I, I, I had like two or three attempts on it, and two times it went wrong, and then in the end I finally caught it, so when you look down here on the joint now, it just looks fairly good, um, as good as I could do, definitely. And I was really pleased with how I made it. So, um, someone asked if I would be selling them. If anyone wants to buy them, uh, so yeah, I could sell them probably. And what money I would get in on them, I would just use to buy more bands. Um, and I, I would just only charge like two dollars in shipping because that's how much it is. It costs twelve krona uh, in from Denmark to ship. Plus, I have the envelopes as well, um, which I got loads of, but and eventually I'm gonna run out, and I, I bought them myself. So, definitely a $2 shipping, and I will have to figure out a price on different um, bracelets, because these here will be definitely cheapest because you hardly use any bands. Um, but those here are gonna be more because there are a lot more bands, and those here is gonna be a lot, lot more because I use so many bands. I mean, you can see here. Um, the black is really low compared to the others because I use so much black um, and I use black in almost everything black is like my preferred color with, with it. Uh, you can also do this white but I don't know I have the white ones but I don't I don't feel like the white is a color I would want to wear that much because I'm afraid they're gonna get dirty but yeah I can try and make something I didn't plan on buying this to sell it but if anyone out there would really be interested in purchasing um, a bracelet fit like this um, I will probably consider maybe selling them um, but it's just the fact that um, it takes no time really it doesn't take I mean this one here I think that took me about an hour that big one then and uh, those tiny ones it takes me about 10 minutes not even five five minutes, five seven minutes, because it's just so quick. And I think this here was about half an hour. So yeah. Um, so all depending on what sort of style it should be, I have to figure out a price. Also, so I'll get my um, get covered for getting more bands because I will eventually have to get more bands. All right, let's get another deck out of the mold. Crack it open. Yay! That's the bottom half. And let's get the top off. There we go. 
Yeah, that looks nice. Nice new bracelet. <laughs> Here we go, I got some more veneers for doing more uh, decks. And I'm just going to be gluing that and pop that in the mold before I go inside again. Hey guys, I have just landed my first triple Ken flip to um, Spike and it was like, I tried like five or six times and it was there. I, I just managed to learn double. I did that like a couple of times before like, wow, I could do double and I did them quite simple um, and I've never done them before. So I was like, yeah, maybe I should try a triple. So, and I did it like five or six tries and I had it. And, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe I should consider trying a quad someday, but it's not going to be tonight. Right now I'm going to be gluing these pieces of veneers together, um, so I can pop that in the mold for tonight and uh, get some more decks done. I'm really trying to catch up. I hope tomorrow I will uh, be able to, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight decks I got to sand tomorrow. So I'm I'm fairly busy and I hope it will keep dry enough for me to go out and sand them. Um, eight ice axe nine with the double one I'm gonna put in as well. And uh, no worries, Lewis. I will uh, pop your split ply in maybe tomorrow. Um, I'm doing a trade with uh, a guy called Lewis and um, I'm expecting that uh, his package will arrive. He said about before Friday or something like that. So I hope it'll uh, it'll come there. Maybe Friday or before. Uh, but whatever, I'm gonna make the deck anyway, um, so it's ready. All right, um, but that's gonna be the all last of me for today. I'm sorry for boring videos, guys, but it's been raining like crazy. It's not weather to be outside, and I can't even go out and sand and stuff like that. And um, I have a handful of decks which I need to get finished and shipped off. And Sydney, I hope you watch this. And um, not to worry, I will ship your package out as soon as I can get these decks sanded. The reason why I don't dare sanding outside at the moment is because it's so wet and damp, and I'm afraid. That because even though I used um, I used outdoor wood glue, uh, so it's kind of like water resistant, but they still can warp if I stay out too long. So what I have to do is to take a deck out, sand it, hurry in again with it because it's just so damp and moist outside and it's raining all the time, which is really sad. So I can't finish the bloody thing. Mm. Um, also, I am considering um, contacting the people about getting my professional mold done. So it's going to be um, a completely CNC made machine uh, mold. Uh, to my specifications, of course, it's not, it's not going to be anything completely standard like anyone else. Uh, it's still going to be my shape and all that. I'm going to take some pictures and measurements of my um, medium mold. And the person which is going to do my mold will uh, put those data and information on the computer. And, um, and then to make sure that everything is fully straight and nice and uh, yeah. It's going to be quite expensive, um, so I hope you guys will support me <laughs> by buying some of the decks when I'm done. Uh, that's going to be set up as my main company, but I will not be like Black River and all those, like having 200 decks lying ready or more than that uh, in a stock. I will be making maybe four or five decks now and then and selling them, and then a period of time I have to make some more decks and sell them. Um, and depending if it's going to be split pliers or normals, uh, the price will all come between that. But I'm also going to be working on my own graphics. Um, but I would like to try and do some um, not wearable graphics because I, I think it's it's people who like that it's cool. But to me, a wearable graphic is just like well, you pay so much money for a deck. It's so annoying that your graphic is just all ruined and scratched. Uh, even though yes, it look authentic, but I prefer to have a deck where um, the graphic and all that looks nice for a long time. I like my decks to look nice and crisp all the time. Even though this is not mine, this is Mike Snyder's. And yeah, um, I will link you guys to the video where he's fingerboarding on this day because a lot of people you've been asking say, you said that's Mike Snyder's fingerboard and you've been riding that. Prove it and blah 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 and some people just want to see it. Um, so now I'm going to prove it by sticking this flat face deck video up so you guys can see it. Alright, so uh, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I use it as a mask? Probably not. Or can I? I can't see myself. I think we're doing it there. Alright guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace.